Right, so next we talk about the information security uh, awareness. Right, so this is the uh, s uh, survey of cyber security uh, awareness. Uh, it's actually done in China. Um, so the first question is that um, uh, in, in the survey, they actually ask the, the, uh, uh, the people, like, do you actually read the user agreement in details whenever we register an account? And uh, I think uh, everyone knows the uh, most likely the answer is no. Uh, people will just scroll to the bottom and just to click yes, I agree. Um, the next question is that uh, do you use the same password for all your accounts? Um, for example, like uh, do you have uh, Facebook, um, the same password with the Gmail, with the Yahoo, uh, with the Instagram or whatever, okay? And uh, surprisingly, a lot of people actually uh, uses the same password for all the accounts. And uh, these are some uh, example statistics which is uh, by the survey report uh, in China which is uh, launched by the uh, Qihou 360 uh, and you can see that the um, these are the uh, like for example 13.8% uh, of people say that they use the same uh, password uh, and 61% uh, said not all the accounts use the same password and unique password for all uh, for each account 24 by or 1 percent um, do you think that current cyber environment is secure and uh, so these are the uh, the, uh, the response um, 6.9 percent say extremely safe 49 percent says uh, very safe uh, 32.8 safe okay so basically you can see that uh, I think uh, pretty much more than 70 or 80 percent and above uh, people actually quite uh, consider the uh, internet are uh, safe and uh, only like 9 to 9 percent, 2 percent, 11 percent you know the uh, survey uh, people says that um, it is not safe okay okay that next is the public or uh, Wi-Fi security uh, awareness um, so the question is that do you connect to free uh, Wi-Fi uh, do you connect to free Wi-Fi in public places and uh, you can see that um, um, so 19% of the audience says access to any free Wi-Fi anytime which is available uh, another 19% 19 19 of the uh, audience says that do not access to any public Wi-Fi uh, they probably would just rely on their 3G or the 4G um, some of the uh, like sixty percent of people say uh, access only protected Wi-Fi network of well-known brands. Okay, oh, this is actually quite dangerous. Uh, sometimes, uh, how do you distinguish which is well-known or non-well-known? For example, like McDonald's, McDonald's Wi-Fi, Starbucks Wi-Fi. You know, uh, it, it seems like uh, it, it looks like a legitimate Wi-Fi, but. Um, it's, it's very hard to say but sometimes uh, a hacker could be uh, entering into the same cafe like like you you know sitting beside you and and present the same SSID and uh, you probably would f fall into the trap okay so uh, typically uh, most of the people here are connected to the public Wi-Fi without any uh, awareness um, do you do online shopping payment and money transfer or anything similar things while connected to public Wi-Fi okay yeah so um, so 25% uh, of the people says they actually connect uh, to public Wi-Fi and then they do email and chatting and 13% of uh, the people actually perform uh, online shopping and also perform some banks uh, banking transaction all right so there is a, a, a popular website by the name of a uh, wall of sheep and this is a, a, a very popular website which they actually sell uh, a lot of uh, product which is uh, spying products uh, to spy on the Wi-Fi to spy on the uh, to hack on people's uh, NFC and etc etc and uh, this is actually a, a well-known website so um, the product is actually available and uh, people are actually quite uh, surprised where uh, you, they, with, with the uh, correct tools you can actually obtain people's uh, uh, credential uh, and also the password okay uh, in easy way 
Right, next, uh, security risk of a Wi-Fi in the public area. 80% um, of the Wi-Fi network can be easily cracked. All right, so especially the uh, Wi-Fi doesn't, uh, most of the public wi free Wi-Fi doesn't uh, have the, uh, doesn't con uh, control by the WPA and is, is normally uh, opened. Every year, access to public Wi-Fi network incurs an economy loss as high as 5 billion uh, Chinese Yuan. Uh, it, most of the things like uh, e-bank, TAF, online account TAF, okay, people take away, took away, took away your account. And below are some of the examples of the public Wi-Fi security risk. Uh, unexpectedly, sorry, unexpected uh, hacker can still like uh, example the 34,000 of uh, Chinese uh, yuan from a person uh, who steals the neighbor's uh, Wi-Fi okay neighbor's Wi-Fi okay uh, shocking uh, a financial scam using a McDonald's Wi-Fi uh, cost some user about uh, two thousand uh, dollars um, Chinese yuan loss uh, up to date um, uh, fishing in the Wi-Fi uh, in um, buses um, uh, suffocating an uh, online game purchase uh, accumulated uh, over a number of years stolen by a hacker okay this is something happened before uh, a grief uh, those uh, who in intended to save the money uh, may be risk at risk due to the weak uh, security okay uh, and also harmful hackers routinely success uh, succeeded in obtaining a user password information and then after that use your information your account uh, and the password to perform some uh, some other uh, illegal uh, transaction okay social engineering now social engineering uh, is a kind of a concept where um, we the the hacker actually pretend uh, is somebody else and uh, and forgot some information and uh, the, then after that, the uh, the company where he he or she calls in, and uh, they actually review the uh, some of the personal uh, some of the, the the company's information, like uh, the person in charge or things like that, or maybe the email account. All right. So now, social engineering was first appeared in the 1960s as a, a formal uh, discipline. Discipline. Uh, social engineering uh, was discussed in the Art of uh, Deception uh, book by the infamous hacker by the name Kevin Michnik uh, who actually authored the book following uh, a prison terms for hacking related offenses okay this is one of the very popular uh, hacker Kevin uh, it refers uh, to the psychological uh, manipulation of people to give away important personal information which can cause great damage to the victim okay so this is actually uh, what the, hack, uh, the hacker Kevin uh, Michnik uh, mentioned. People are the weakest link. Okay, uh, so this is actually a picture of um, uh, a, a, a person uh, or maybe a zookeeper, which actually pretend uh, like a panda, uh, so that actually it it, it can feed uh, the, um, the the real panda here, so that this panda will not. Uh, 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 will actually trust the the, uh, the the person and to to eat the food, for example. Okay. Um, case study. Uh, so example discussion. Uh, if if you find another person's a SIM card, what information can we can you obtain? Uh, so first of all, uh, if somebody uh, lost the uh, phone, uh, the SIM card. Uh, we first of all we can actually insert the SIM card into another phone and the phone actually displays the SIM card uh, number okay uh, first of all we can obtain the uh, phone number and example uh, Alipay login details now Alipay is something like the, the PayPal uh, in China uh, in China there are two uh, very popular payment system one is called the Alipay and the other one is called the WeChat Pay uh, so this is just one of the example uh, and it allows you to obtain the obtain the name of the card owner. So, for example, you can actually set the uh, forget password, and then you said, okay, let me enter the phone number. And uh, so, most of the portal they actually perform the uh, reverse um, uh, uh, verification. That means that they will send you the uh, SMS uh, verification code to your phone number, and so that you can actually gain access. You can reset the password, and you can re-enter the uh, 
the uh, portal, for example. Uh, and also log into the online services center uh, on the uh, SIM card. Obtain the first four and the last four digits of the card owner's uh, ID. Hackers can guess the remaining digit based on the birth date and also the area. This is possible. Uh, personal information of the SIM card owner. Uh, so uh, use QQ. Uh, this is like uh, the Chinese version of the Facebook and also the uh, Weibo. This is the China edition of the Twitter to obtain information such as the birth date, location, and the age of the card owner. Um, in terms of a, a web uh, browser history, uh, using a web browser history provided by the service center, you can also obtain the owner's most frequently visited website, uh, which is, for example, the QQ account and the Weibo account uh, in order to gain access. Uh, and information about social uh, relationship, and you can also obtain the information about the friend, the friend, uh, friends, uh, relatives, and the photos of the card owner through the social platforms such as the Weibo, just like the way Facebook. Uh, once you can gain access to uh, somebody's uh, Facebook account, you can actually learn so many things about the user, uh, about the relatives, you know, everything, the photos, all the accounts, and things like that. Okay. All right, so foresting security awareness. So how can we um, uh, educate the user? Okay. Uh, so first of all, we need to remain uh, remaining uh, vigilance when online in is an effective way to defend against cybersecurity scam. All right. So this is actually uh, awareness that we need to educate uh, our user. Uh, first of all, uh, every user must think like a uh, detective. Okay, um, so first of all, you need to think before you act. Okay, whenever uh, action that you perform, uh, especially in the public uh, area, uh, be Wi-Fi, be 4G, you know, uh, you have to be, uh, you have to think twice before you uh, connect. Uh, attention to detail. Uh, so detail about, for example, the uh, Wi-Fi. Example, uh, Wi-Fi could appear with so many different names, like uh, free Wi-Fi one, free Wi-Fi two. And also, a good detective should be um, always uh, have the uh, mentality to search the uh, truth, uh, and also be skeptical of anything that you connect to, or maybe any free gift. Uh, that's provided by somebody, uh, especially when you pass somebody some information, some free gifts will be given, you know, and uh, and people in return they wanted your, uh, you know, the company uh, information, your position, your phone number, your birth date, and everything. So be very skeptical, uh, especially when uh, you apply membership or something like that. 